maintainable code with the strategy pattern. Introduction to the strategy pattern. In this video, we will discuss what is the strategy pattern. We will be looking at a simple example to best understand the goal of the pattern itself. Along the way, you will see how the strategy pattern goes hand in hand with the open close principle. Let's get started. In very simple terms, the goal of the strategy pattern is to enable replacing some kind of functionality, of an application or a class, for example, without modifying code. This is usually done by isolating and encapsulating some well-defined functionality that needs to change based on certain requirements. Let's see first how not to do this by an example, and then we will discuss how to properly handle such situations. Let's consider that our sample application is used by two clients. Our first client is happy with how the daily revenue report is generated and displayed. Let's see how it looks. Daily revenue is being calculated per day using non-pending orders. Now another client wants this same report output to look a bit differently and wants to see the number of individual products that were sold on a given day and wants to also include pending orders into the calculation. Based on different client needs, the report has to be generated somewhat differently. The naive solution, which is applied quite frequently out in the wild, is to duplicate this method or the warehouse class entirely and create a separate application where a new implementation of the report generation is used. This might look something akin to this. The original report generation function is untouched. And a new one is created. The new method is then hard coded to be used instead of the previous one. If we start the application, we will get the functionality. It works, but there is a serious problem. We had to modify code in order to allow this new functionality to be used. We would need to maintain two code bases where a few lines of code differ from each other for our two clients. Whenever we would like to give them a new version of the application, we would need to build the applications separately. Consider what would happen if the app were used by, let's say, 500 clients. There could be as many different tiny variations of the class as many clients. Maintaining as many versions of a class or a method is a nightmare. So essentially, this route has to be avoided at all costs. The biggest problem with this approach is that we hard code which report generation algorithm we will use at compile time. The choice is baked into the code. What would be more beneficial if we could decide during runtime which algorithm to use in order to have a single version of the code? The strategy pattern is exactly about this. Okay. Let's see what we could do about deciding which version of the report generation to use at runtime instead of compile time. We could try and modify the warehouse class to decide which algorithm to use based on a client ID.
we have introduced a global variable called client ID. Based on this, we are going to run one or the other method. It might be tempting to do something like this, but this is exactly the same situation we were in, just presented a bit differently. The algorithm that will be called still selected at compile time, since the static final client ID variable is baked into the code. So don't do this at home. Let's improve this a tiny bit and see how to defer choosing which algorithm to use during runtime. We modify the application to receive the client ID as a command line argument. The ID is initialized during runtime. This way we have immediately solved a few problems. We can have a single code base in which we use the actual runtime value of the client ID variable to decide which algorithms to use. We give the same application binary to all of our clients and just tell them to run it differently. For development, we can create separate run configurations to run the applications as our clients would. Actually, nobody should see this, so let's edit this. I will delete this because it's just noise. We'll save it. And let's say I'm just after closing the other window. And I'm after saying for development, we can create separate run configurations to run the application as our clients would. This will be the client ID. Let's make another one for our other client. With a different client ID. Let's see how it works. Let's see the other client. Exactly what we wanted. The current version of the code satisfies the requirement that it will be decided during runtime which report generation algorithm will be selected and used. However, from a design perspective, the code base violates solid principles. First, the warehouse class is now responsible for deciding which particular algorithm to choose based on the client ID. and it does so with the use of global state, which is hard to test as it creates an unnecessary coupling between the warehouse and the main class. Second, the warehouse class violates the open-closed principle as it contains baked-in strategies on how to generate a report. If you would like to add a new report generation algorithm for new clients, we would be required to modify the code of the warehouse class. Without modifying the code, we can't extend its functionality. So, essentially, it's closed for extension and open for modification, the exact opposite of the well-known principle. To avoid this and to fully adhere to the open-closed principle, you must use the pattern correctly by relying on abstractions instead of specific details. What we have seen so far was something similar to the strategy pattern, but not quite the pattern itself. Let's see the final touches we must apply in order to fully realize the pattern. Let's see what needs to be done to the warehouse class. We will add a new dependency for the class according to the dependency inversion principle.
This dependency will be our algorithm that encapsulates the logic to generate reports. It is an abstraction and the warehouse doesn't know how it is implemented. We will also remove report generation logic from the class according to the single responsibility principle. Let's see the report generation interface. This interface encapsulates the abstraction of our algorithm that can be replaced inside the warehouse. Please notice that the signature of this method in the interface is defined exactly the same way as the one that we have just seen in the warehouse class. We also have two classes which implement this new interface. This class is using the code we have removed from the warehouse. It also implements the strategy interface. The other implementation is similar. It contains the other removed method from the warehouse class and also implements the strategy interface. Since we isolated and externalized the algorithms that produce our different reports and declared a new constructor parameter for the warehouse class, we needed to change how it is instantiated also. Before creating the warehouse class, report generation algorithm is selected. A different algorithm is selected just as before based on the client ID. The client ID is refactored to be a local variable in the main method. As global variables are bad and classes that use them are hard to test, it is best to get rid of them completely. This way other developers working on the same code as you will have a harder time using globals. This way the warehouse class is open for extension and closed for modification since we don't have to edit the class itself in order to add new functionality to it. 